Bradford, I didn't know you were so popular. Come on. Well, we love all of us. Changing the, the subject completely, in North East Hertfordshire, we're very concerned about sewage overflows into our... <laughs> This is damaging to the flora and fauna and also restricts the use of these precious streams for leisure. The, the Environment Bill included some important measures last year and I, I welcome the fact that the Government has consulted on its reduction plan for storm overflows, but when, when would we expect to see some meaningful improvements and some real reductions in the amount of sewage going into our rivers? Yeah, well, I, I thank you very much, and I, I share his concern. I can tell him our sewage plan is the biggest investment on this by any, uh, by any government. We made it clear that uh, the water companies uh, must uh, do more, Mr. Speaker. And actually, we already are seeing improvements, but uh, the regulator is ensuring that the water companies uh, do more to deliver on their obligations. We will not hesitate to take further action as needed. We now come to the leader of the SNP, Ian Blackford. Yeah. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Can I associate myself with the remarks of the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition in supporting our carers? Mr Speaker, week after week I have called on this Prime Minister to resign. I have been met with a wall of noise from the Tory benches. I thought they were trying to shout me down, but all this time... time, Mr Speaker, it turns out that 41% of them have been cheering me on. Because, Mr Speaker, let's be clear, at least the numbers don't lie. 41% of his own MPs have no confidence in him. 66 of MPs across the House don't support him. And 97% of Scottish MPs want the Minister for the Union shown the door. Lame duck Prime Minister presiding over a divided party in a disunited kingdom. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. how does the Prime Minister expect to continue when even unionist leaders in Scotland won't back him? Yeah. Prime Minister. I, I, want, I want to thank my, uh, right, the Right Honourable Gentleman for his characteristic uh, warm words. Uh, and, uh, just, uh, and, uh, and actually, Mr. Speaker, I, I want to say that the, the biggest and most powerful and effective advocate of the United Kingdom over the last uh, time that I've been in, 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 in has been that man there. He's going to last uh, here as, as leader of the SNP, the Scottish Assembly of Westminster. Long may, uh, long may he rest in place, Mr. Speaker. He is the Araldite that's keeping our kingdom uh, together. I, I thank him for his work. Blackburn. Well, I, I can see, I can see to the Prime Minister. I can say to the Prime Minister that I'll be standing shoulder to shoulder with our First Minister as we take our country to independence. Yeah. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister is acting like Monty Python's Black Knight, running around declaring it's just a flesh wound. And no amount, no amount of delusion and denial will save the Prime Minister from the truth. This story won't go away until he goes away. For once in his life, he needs to wake up to reality. Prime Minister, it's over. It's done. The Prime Minister has no options left, but Scotland does. Scotland has the choice of an independent future. Because it's not just the Prime Minister that we have zero confidence in. It's the broken Westminster system that puts a man like him in power. Can he tell us, can the Prime Minister tell us how it is democratic that Scotland is stuck with a Prime Minister we don't trust a Conservative Party we don't support, and Tory governments we haven't voted for since 1955. Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, we had a, we had a, a referendum, as I've uh, told the House before, uh, in, in 2014. I think he should respect the mandate of the, uh, of the people. And you know, he, keeps saying, he keeps saying that uh, he, 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 he wants his independence for his country. Our country is independent, yeah. uh, Mr Speaker. Uh, our country is independent. 
then he tried 48 times to reverse it to the, 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 the leader of the opposition. And the only way that independence would ever be reversed is if we had the disaster, Mr Speaker, of a Labour-SNP coalition to take us back into the EU. Mr. 